My name's Sissy Rooney. I'm a 36-year-old fashion designer and entrepreneur and my organisation is Street Style Surgery. The Street Style Surgery is an organisation that helps young people discover their special hidden talents. So we deliver workshops in schools and young offence institutions and youth clubs across the UK. Um, and really they're alternative workshops, they're workshops that cover things like fashion design, music production, parkour, BMX and skateboarding to hopefully fire young people's creativity or zest for something different and an alternative. I was 15 years of age, um, I had just been excluded from school, I knew I was interested in fashion design but I didn't know where I was going to go next. And lucky for me, there was a really cool teacher in school who spotted my potential and sent home some tickets to see a fashion show. And I went, I seen all these models coming down the catwalk and I was blown away. And I enrolled um, on a fashion course straight away and that took me to where I am now. It's important to me that I show young people my journey and how I've turned something I loved into a business or an enterprise. I want my story to resonate with them. Um, I want them to think, yeah, Sissy did it, so we can do it. Today we did our own t-shirts. We picked a t-shirt, picked a stencil and paint over it with spray paint. I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. When I'm older, I want to own my own business doing hair and beauty. Listening to Sissy, I think it will be a good idea to do it. A social enterprise is an organisation that makes profit and has a social ethos. So the Street Style Surgery is a profit-making organisation, but our social, social ethos is engaging and inspiring young people. All our profit is always put back into the business to move us forward, and that could be in marketing or space for us to operate in, or by sometimes giving workshops at a discounted rate to charities and youth organisations with less funds. It's important to me that my organisation does look at the footprint that we leave on the planet and that we can reduce this. So we can go into a school and young people can bring in all their old clothes or we can use um, the lost property box and then we recycle it and we customise it and turn it into something new. I've always had that entrepreneurial streak and I think it comes from me having nothing. I mean I had a lot of love, so much love when I was younger, but we didn't have material things. Um, yeah, we didn't have all the stuff that other kids maybe had. Now I employ about 80 people on a freelance basis across the UK. It's great being an entrepreneur, but it's even better being a social entrepreneur. It's even better getting in the car after the day's work and thinking about the effect and the impact that you've made on somebody. I think the workshop today went really well. It was a fast fixed workshop, so there was a lot of energy and a lot of zest. But all them young people would leave here today and go home and show their parents the t-shirt and say, look what I made. This trickles out into the streets of Stockport and Manchester. These kids will wear them t-shirts now. And they'll remember my story and they'll say, well, if Sissy can do it, then we can do it. And I've had that written on feedback sheets so many times. If Sissy can do it, then we can do it. And I like that. I like hearing that and reading that.